Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today it's my first day here in Phoenix and I'm excited to start exploring the city and welcome to state number 8. Today I'm going to be going to Papago Park, the Desert Botanical Gardens, the Musical Instrument Museum. So it's going to be a pretty cool day to see some of the things here in Phoenix. So let's head out there and explore. <music> So I just headed out of my hotel and I'm about to do something really cool. So I just got one of those driverless Waymo Ubers and I'm about to ride in it and I'm super excited because it's completely self-driving and I've seen these all over YouTube. I'm about to ride in it and go to Papago Park. There it is, you can see it's driving completely by itself and I'm super excited to hop in and ride in one of the Waymos. So as you guys can see, once you're in, there's no driver in here. The seat belt is clicked on this side. And once you're in, you click start ride. Once you've closed all the doors and hit start ride and put on your seat belt, there'll be a little safety video that'll brief you on the ride and then you'll get going. Right, I just made it here to the Botanical Gardens and I just hopped out of the car. But the Botanical Gardens has over 50,000 plants here, so I'm excited to walk around and see all of the desert plants. here on the desert wildflower trail but this trail is really relaxing and there's lots of cool cactuses and plants here but I'm really enjoying it and the weather is really beautiful today it's around 65 degrees and warm so it's really nice out here Look at all of these beautiful views you have of the city here. You have Four Peaks is out there and Superstition Mountain is that one. And then over here, there's Camelback Mountain, which is that one. And then there's the Buttes and Papago Park over there. Look at how tall some of these cacti are. There's ones like this, which are like 20 feet tall. And then there's ones like that over there that are even taller. Look at this cactus and look at how tall it is. And look at how cool that top is up there. Right, and I'm heading out of the botanical gardens right now. That was a really cool experience and I enjoyed seeing all of the butterflies because they're really beautiful to look at and take pictures of. So I would highly recommend coming here. So on to the next place. I just got 
got lunch here in downtown Phoenix. And now I'm about to head to the Musical Instrument Museum and check it out. After driving from downtown for around 15 minutes, I made it to the Musical Instrument Museum, which is located in Scottsdale. The Musical Instrument Museum opened in April of 2010, and today it has over 7,000 instruments from 200 different countries and territories from all over the world. So this massive instrument right here is called an octobass, and this is around maybe 20 feet tall. <music> The museum organizes the instruments based on the continent and the country or territory. So you get to see each exhibit by itself. Here we have a fiddle. We have the minstrel banjo. We have another fiddle there, a guitar. We have a melody on. I hope I pronounced that right. And then we have some other instruments here. Another fiddle. So if anyone knows, can anyone tell me the difference between a fiddle and let's say a violin or a viola because they look identical. Here we have a bunch of trumpets and cornets. Look at how massive this drum set is. I mean, wow. Look at all of that. And with that, that brings my first day in Phoenix to an end. So let's go ahead and move on to day number two in Arizona's capital. Good morning everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going to Hole in the Rock at Papago Park, a mountain in Tempe and the South Mountains Preserve to go to Dobbins Lookout. Should be another fun day, so let's head out there and explore Phoenix some more. and I'm about to hike up and it's 0.7 miles and it's a really easy trail so if you want to go up there and see the views it's one of the best places to go here in Phoenix but let's start the hike up there I just made it here at the top. It was 0.7 miles again, so it was super easy. But you can see the views from here. There is downtown and midtown Phoenix over there. Midtown is on the right, downtown is on the left. You can see there is Sky Harbor Airport over there. And then there are the South Mountains. And there's downtown Tempe over there, right there. But the views from here are really nice. All right, I just finished up at the Hole in the Rock, and now it's time to head on to the next place. I just made it here to A Mountain, and I'm currently hiking up. I think it's about 0.7 miles too, so it's a pretty easy trail, but the views from here are awesome.
ride. I just made it to the top of A Mountain. Phoenix and Sky Harbor are back there, and then Tempe is on this side behind me. But it's definitely a great alternative to going the hole in the rock because the hike here is a lot less crowded and the views are even better because it's higher. But this is awesome. So here's the A that they have up here, and this A represents Arizona State University. All right, I just got off A Mountain. There it is back there. Now I'm gonna find some lunch somewhere and continue exploring Phoenix. After I finished up at A Mountain, I headed out to find some lunch in downtown Phoenix. And unfortunately, I was not able to go to the South Mountains Reserve due to an unexpected issue coming up, meaning I had to return to my hotel early, bringing this video, unfortunately, to an abrupt end.